Hello, everyone. Um, today, I wanted to come on and just really talk about words and how they matter. Um, this week, we um, we laid my cousin Richard to rest, and um, I want to talk about Richard a little bit because he was loved by so many people because he was such a positive soul. He was always positive. Um, to you know just always had a good things to say if he didn't have an anything if he's involved in a negative conversation he would just rather be quiet and not say anything and just come back with a positive word and i really like that about him um when i was a little girl i had two grandmothers i had my mom's mom and my dad's mom and my mom's mom even though i never I can't remember her ever saying, I love you. I knew she did. Like I felt it and she was kind. She was gentle. She was sweet. And my dad's mom was just a complete opposite. And, um, you know, the way my mom's mom showed love was, I mean, I, when I was thinking about it last night, I just teared up because she did it so subtle, but it, it left such a lasting impact on me. And, um, you know, on the other spectrum, I was just basically, um, I don't even know if I want to say all of this, but it just wasn't the same. It, it was just a completely different spectrum dealing with my mom's mom and my, um, my dad's mom. But this is where I'm going with this. Um, you know, in addition to who we are at our core, uh, we're shaped by, you know, other external influences, other people in our lives, you know, whether they're good or bad. And sometimes the words that that are spoken to us as children or even in our adult lives, depending on where we are, you know, at what stage we are in our lives too, they can really have a lasting impact on, on us, on you, on a, on a person, you know, and how we deal. And a lot of us, we cope and we deal with, you know, different situations differently. And, um, you know, like, this week when we you know when we had the funeral for my cousin it was really nice you know i go back to that because it was really nice to hear how so many people had so many nice things to say they had kind words to share because he didn't even realize that at any specific time at any given time when he spoke to a person he was speaking to them at a time that they needed it and a lot of people testified to that and, you know, he was lifting them up, lifting their spirit. And that's, you know, that that's a lot because you don't have, you know, nobody's making anything up. And I can speak towards towards that with him because he was that that's really how he was. You know, he just always had an encouraging word. Um, words, they matter. They really do matter. They can lift you up in the best of times and they can put you down, you know, in the worst of times. And, you know, sometimes we speak and we don't realize how, you know, sometimes we speak and we just speak. We don't really take, we don't take account, take into account another person's emotions or, you know, their life events. And you may not know, but you don't take into account the other person's perspective. You don't take into account what they may be going through at a specific time in their life. And we say things, um, we say things not always purposefully, like, you know, not to hurt, but sometimes even when we speak some things, it may be hurtful at, at for some people at a specific time. But, you know, um, I experienced this when I was in the military. I, um, I, I culturally, like we speak, we just speak our minds. And a lot of times, even with, with, with our coach, with my Jamaican culture, like when we get excited, we sound like we're yelling or arguing. And I know other cultures can relate, but for us, 
you know, um, it always like when we get together, it just seems like we're just just arguing or whatever if you're if you're not familiar. And um, I know in the military, sometimes I would say something that I'm genuinely speaking truth on not to be rude or anything, and it would come off offensive. And I've had situations where um, someone told me that I offended them, but I was completely unaware. And, you know, at that point in my life, I was glad that I actually recognized like that I could come off a little, you know, brutish or brash or whatever the word is, just direct. That's a better word. I could come off direct unknowingly and it could be offensive. So I apologize, you know, and I was glad that I was able to do that. So, um, you know, we got to like. I, for myself, I try to really understand or try to realize or recognize what I'm saying, you know, how I'm saying it to who I'm saying it. And you can't always, you cannot always figure all of that out in one conversation. So um, just pay attention to your words, you know, it's, it's good to just always have an encouraging word, you know, let your word be strength, be a source of strength and light and a light for others, because it could, it could come at a time that they truly need it to be lifted up or, you know, you know, to be picked up, to be encouraged, to be pushed. Um, you know, I've heard, and I have my own stories where, you know, just growing up where I've had people say things that you know they don't recognize that it's hurtful um and you just have to find a way to deal with it and i've been i've dealt with that a lot just growing up just with people saying and doing things that were hurtful and not and thinking it's funny and it's not always funny especially if you're on the other end of it but i encourage people today or just encourage everyone that's listening to me today to to watch your words, watch your words and, you know, be mindful of the words that you speak to who and to who you're speaking them to. Um, you know, for some of us, we can use those negative energy. Some people can use negative energy to, to drive them in a positive direction, but everyone's not, not there. Everybody's not capable of doing that right out the bat. Some people have to learn. Some people have to go through, you know, counseling. They have to be, you know, they have to be coached to be strong. And, you know, nobody wants to be put down all the time, especially when they're doing something good. You know, even when they're doing something bad, you don't have to remind them of the thing that they're doing that's not right just encourage them to do better you know people know when they're doing wrong most of the time and you know if they're trying to make their lives better and you're constantly or someone is constantly reminding them of their faults or their shortcomings then you know it just makes it even more difficult for them to move forward so like i said just i encourage everyone Watch your words and let your words be a source of strength and a light for others so that, you know, they too can come up out of whatever situation they're in. And if they're in a good situation, they can shine brighter, you know, and so I'm going to leave that with you today. If this resonated with you, uh, I have 10 ways that I dealt with um, negative feedback and neg negative comments and just negative people. If you want a copy of it, just send me a message in the, um, just DM me and I'll send you a copy of the, the list of things that I did to just move forward from negative, from negativity. All right. Have a great weekend guys. And remember this month is heart health month. I sound like a real commercial. <laughs> Have a great weekend guys.